So today we're discussing how to EMP harden your uh, solar inverter. Um, in my case, I'm using the Solark 15K, which they actually do have a EMP hardened version that they said was gonna be coming out actually last year in 2022, but they had to push off that release date. And as of May, when I'm making this video, 2023, they still haven't released that yet. So I wanted to make a video on how I'm doing this with a different uh, type of technology. And it's actually a lot cheaper. So the Solark 15K, they are going to offer an EMP hardened version, like I said, at some point, but it's going to be about a $2,000 increase in price. And the way I'm going to do it, you can basically EMP hard this thing for right around 600 so less than half the cost. So I think that's worth it. So the device I'm using to EMP harden my solar inverter is this. It's called EMP Shield. You hook it up directly into your PV array where they connect into your charge controllers, and mine are right here. Solar inverter has three charge controllers. So this device right here, it's the 600 volt model. I needed the 600 volt model actually because this does up to 500 volts um, from your solar panels. So I needed a pretty big one. So you have to check with your inverter on how many volts it is. And this is actually is capable of handling two charge controllers. So that's why you can see uh, two positives and two negative wires on this thing. Um, but because I have three charge controllers on this, I also had to buy a separate one that is just has one positive and one negative for one of the charge controllers. So how EMP Shield works basically is it takes any over voltage, whether it's coming from a power spike from your power company, whether it's coming from an EMP blast, <laughs> uh, which would be scary, a uh, lightning strike, which is very common actually in my area of Texas here, or even a solar flare, pretty much any type of power surge, it takes that within like five milliseconds or five millionths of a second, I don't know, something crazy and takes that and immediately sends it right to ground before it can do any damage to your inverter, which is a good thing because I've spent a fortune on this system. The last thing I want is the whole thing damaged in just one lightning storm. So EMP Shield has been tested to the UL1499 standard. You can check their website actually to see all the tests they have that they've got certified on this thing. They actually work with the Department of Defense, Department of Homeland Security. They also work with different uh, grid operators, helping them EMP harden all of their equipment. So they have a really impressive resume. So protection happens within one billionth of a second. I just double checked that. So it protects against EMP phases one, two, and three. It can ac actually withstand multiple EMP strikes as well. So that's good to know. Um, they also have a home version, which I actually have on my, you hook it right up to your 200 amp panel, your home panel, and it's really easy to install. It installs in like less than 15 minutes. It's, it's crazy how easy it is. You can check out another video I have on my channel. Um, showing you exactly how that thing is installed. They also have an EMP shield version for your boat, your car, and also a off grid battery bank to protect that, which I'll be installing and I'll put another video together showing how I did that as well. Now, I did like their product so much as I bought it out of my own pocket. I did like it so much I thought my subscribers would also want to get this potentially. So I became an affiliate of EMP shield and I can get you guys $50 off. I did ask them for a discount code and they agreed. So just use the discount code off grid Brian, all one word, and I'll I'll link to that uh, in the description of this video. So how this thing installs is you take basically the uh, the positive wire here, this red wire, and I'm going to shove it up through this little conduit here and put it right in with where this red wire is right here to that charge controller. You send the black wire here, same thing, the negative right into the negative terminal on that first charge controller, and then you route the ground, which is the green wire here over to, there is a ground. You see this wire here connects to a ground bus bar. That's where I'm gonna connect this thing. And that's it, and then I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna put this big box here and screw it with these little screw holes that they have to mount it right into my gutter, which I'll show you a picture of that gutter here. Um, and that's where it's gonna go, and that's it. You're done. Of course, I gotta do that with the other charge controller as well, but it's that simple to install. So these EMP shields cost between $299 to $399, depending on which version you're getting. So overall, for the protection you're getting, you can throw away your whole house. If you're using it for your house, you can throw away those old surge protectors that you have that you have at your TV or computer because this protects your entire house that's connected to it. And I'll be releasing a video soon of how I installed it, but really it's very simple. Um, though it is high voltage you're working with here, so if you don't know what you're doing with electricity, just hire an electrician to do it. It's not worth getting killed over. They have a solid warranty as well. They offer a 14-day no questions asked return policy. They also offer a $25,000 insurance policy. So if anything got damaged from a lightning strike, say, 
you can uh, reach out to them. And I don't know how they prove that or how they prove that you installed it correctly, but they basically have an insurance policy. That they'll protect or replace your equipment that was damaged by a lightning strike if you had EMP shield connected. It's 100% American made in Kansas and they have Kansas American phone support as well. So, and I have used that when I first bought it to install it in my home panel. Really what sold me on EMP shield was one, the testing. They had all the testing uh, on their website to prove that it could withstand what they were saying. Um, the impressive list of customers being the US government, grid operators, that lended a lot of credibility to me. So it was worth it to me to go ahead and take a chance on it. So is it an overkill to have uh, EMP shields protecting your house, your car, your solar inverter, your battery bank? I don't know, maybe, but I spent a fortune on this system, like in the realm of $35,000. And for me, yeah, it's worth it to me to go ahead and protect this thing. Let me know if you think uh, I'm crazy in the comments for doing this. Um, I don't think so, but hey, I'm open to hearing your guys' perspective on it as well. So make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tips on how I'm trying to live off grid or secede from the system as much as I can in food, energy, water, um, even medical care for that matter. Thanks everyone.